Good morning YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So we're out at the shop here again and I'm looking at this tabletop that has now been laminated together. Now, I should have explained this in the first video. This is a little tabletop that goes over top of a uh, mini freezer. No legs on the front of it, just legs on the back, and it basically rests on top of this uh, little mini upright freezer, and it is supposed to come in line with uh, an island that's sitting in the kitchen. So hopefully we'll get it very close to the same level. So the fixture I made to put the dowels in worked reasonably well, not perfect, uh, because I do have steps in here. So now I am going to uh, try to flatten this out before we start working on the parts that go underneath it because I need a finished height on this. So I need this thickness to be done. So let's see if we can figure that out. So I don't want to be too aggressive on this. I'd love to just bring up my DeWalt power planer and whip across this but I'm really afraid of what the results might be. So we're just gonna kinda get the feel for this and work up to it. And right now I'm just using my teeny little plane here just to get a feel for what's gonna happen. Get the glue off of it. Really not too bad. Does it look? It's not bad. Hey. Yeah. Reasonably flat. Mm -hmm. I've got one fair size step there. And I'm just trying to kind of sneak up on these to take it down. I'd love to just get the uh, power planer, but <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid of what the results of that might be. Oh. So I'm just kind of getting a feeling for what's going to happen, which is why I've got this very little plane here. And I'm just trying to get fairly close. Yeah. And sand it kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. All right, so the little plane seems to be working pretty good. I think I'm going to get brave and try the, the bigger plane. Now, I have it set fairly aggressively right now, so we're going to back the blade off on it a little bit and then take a couple of swipes with it and see what we end up with. Okay, folks, we are actually getting pretty close here. So I think I'm going to try the uh, orbital sander before we go too far. Well, 
that's actually getting kind of close. We've got a bit of a high spot there, and I've still got an edge there. We're at the point where I'm just going to work it with the sander now because I don't think I want to put the plane on it. One of the things that I have trouble with with the plane is I'll sometimes leave a mark with the edge of the blade. And then I have to do a lot of sanding or replaning or something to get rid of that. So I've got still a couple of those in here. And I've got a bit of a bow right there. But we're getting there. I think we're going to put Chris on the sander and see how he does. Ooh. All right, folks, so our first side is coming out pretty good. We're very close. We got a little bit of a high spot to take down there. But before we get it actually finished, I'm going to flip it over and actually try the power plane on the other side. And we'll take most of the uh, issues out of the other side as well. That way, if anything gets marked, we still, we're still okay to be able to continue sanding this a little bit more. So let's very carefully try the power planer on this. So I basically have it set to zero, but depending on how you start it, it still can be very aggressive. Yeah, see the edges that yeah. I end up cutting in there? <laughs> so we've got our top and bottom pretty close to being finished. So I don't want to drag finished surfaces around on the table saw. So we're going to try to get our outside dimensions to a finished point now. So we're going to go again, my favorite little technique is we're just going to kind of sneak up on this to make sure that our first couple of cuts are square and we get this thing square and then we can bring it down to its final dimensions. All right, let's take our first cut and we'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Good. All right, so there is our top almost finished all right folks so you can pretty much see now what we're uh, getting towards so everything is just kind of sitting here nothing is fastened in place as of yet so this level here on these two boards that's going to sit on top of the freezer and then there's going to be a space between the back of the freezer and these legs uh, but we want to prevent the cats from getting back in there so we've got this one board here and then there will be three other boards that go on the back as well that will be fastened into place and that will stop the cats from getting in behind this thing so the only piece that we're missing right now is this front piece and that has to go in because that's going to have a power bar attached to it. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying this video. And if you have, don't forget to give it a like. And I'd really love to have you to subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any thoughts, questions, suggestions, don't forget to leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to the work. 
So we're really close now to starting assembly. The last actual kind of fabricating part to do is to notch the legs for, I think it's called the lap joint. All right, here we go. second one so that's one done we're gonna get the other one done and then we're gonna start fitting stuff together machinist I learned especially when working on bigger parts mm -hmm. that thing about uh, measure twice cut once yeah doesn't really apply no you measure six times before you cut <laughs> we're dealing with pine and doing it the old-fashioned way and screwing these in by hand. Barely believe the weather station <laughs> for my farmer's almanac. 
right, so there is the back complete. So the idea of the spacing is to allow lots of airflow. We don't want to be trapping air back behind this with the uh, freezer running. So that's the, that will be sitting on the floor there. And we've got about a two inch gap there, which should also be enough to keep the cats out. At least that's the plan. So our inside frame is almost done. We have the front piece left to put on now. So it's looking pretty good. So we're just figuring out the location of the power bar here, and we want to cut a little groove in this to allow the cord to go through. There we are. Awesome. Two more screws. Thank you. Is that it? Yep. That's everything together. Yeah. Okay. I just got to figure out how to get it in the car. <laughs> See, that's set so far back in there, you won't be able to see it anyway. Yeah. All right, so there we are, folks. It's actually finished. So it's sitting on the table saw right now. So it's going to be sitting on the little freezer. So we've got our cat protection in place. Our top is turned out nice and flat. Chris is going to put a uh, finish on that after he does a little bit of research to see what it is. There's a power bar underneath here for plugs. And the color and style does basically match the uh, IKEA piece that it's going to go sitting beside. So it was an interesting little project. The one thing that I'm quite pleased about is we don't have a whole bunch of screws sticking out all over the place or going down through the top or anything like that. Everything is pretty well hidden. So, my first piece of furniture. <laughs> Good job. Now let's make a rocking chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, folks. So that's got that uh, project for Chris all done. Looks good. Yeah. It was an interesting experience. One thing that uh, I will probably do is look more seriously at a biscuit joiner because that does look like it would be a pretty nice tool to have for doing this kind of work. Does it make biscuits? Yes, it makes biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> so let me know what you think. Do you think this turned out okay? Uh, was is there a different technique that you would use for putting something like this together? But I'm pretty pleased with it for a, a first shot Yeah, it turned out not bad. So folks, thank you very much for watching and if you've enjoyed this little series of uh, three videos on making this thing Please give it a like and share it around and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's really helping. So remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time. All right, so, yeah, you do your touch-up paint and we're finished. Cool. On to the next job. All right. <laughs>